What's up guys here? This is Patrick Anime Tech. We're going to be talking about IRC and everything. This is going to be a revision video on everything I've talked about before. First off, I would guys want to introduce you to me. Hey guys. I got a webcam video now, so I got a whole new setup going on with OBS and everything. So let's get started. Um, first off, you guys are probably wondering what IRC even stands for. What it stands for is uh, Internet Relay Chat. And it just basically uses a point-to-point -point connection with a text-based console to send messages basically <laughs> but uh, you can um, a little bit getting a little bit more into it though you can uh, there's different things you can use a web client which I personally don't like because you can have a delay up to like about 10 seconds depending on where you are in the world and your internet connection I've actually tested it out myself it is true and compared to a desktop application where it can really be really fast but you gotta watch out with the IRC desktop application some want you to actually pay and you shouldn't be having to pay for this it's super simple actually somebody could actually write a whole program themselves to connect with it but uh... <clears throat> basically what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be is I'm gonna show you guys basically how to get reset up and everything because this is a revision video and this is gonna be the first video I'm probably gonna do two or three I'm not sure um but basically what IRC is though is it's just a server it's all it is with the chat network basically just to put it basically it's like I think about it um what you guys want to do though to get a desktop application is download hex chat I'm, I'm assuming you can download it if you're not mundane stupid yeah I'm just gonna say it. um it's super simple after you get that I'm gonna assume you have it downloaded so why don't you guys go do that real quick and just pause the video Okay. <clears throat> now that you have it downloaded, you're gonna you're gonna go through all the everything, and it's gonna pop up the window window like this. And it's probably gonna use your actual system name that you put on your system, so it's probably gonna have your name. You're gonna want something else besides this, and I would suggest filling in all of these just so in case one name is taken on there, you have different ones that you can go through. Um, because if there's a name that's taking on the server, like someone's registered it, it will ask you to not do it because it it's a registered name. <clears throat> but I would suggest filling all that in and after that you're gonna start off somewhere right here we're gonna go to the Ryzen network um, and you're gonna wanna go over here to edit and you're gonna probably wanna create an account on there um, I'm actually gonna show you guys a website real quick where you can actually everything about Ryzen everything pretty much is the is they actually have a wiki page just type in Ryzen wiki it should be the top result I'll leave a link into a description even if you don't wanna search it but that's that <clears throat> basically these are all my personal preference uh, settings I like and with the Ryzen they use the nick serve one command this is so you don't have to type in nick serve all that basically and then your the password there without the uh, pluses it's just yeah so you don't have to type in all that then your password to do it every time <clears throat> and I actually have a couple um, this is auto join channels you can actually have some channels up here set up that you auto join automatically whenever you connect yeah that's pretty much it um I wouldn't suggest doing that though because if because really in case you ever want to change something or go to a different one you have to like basically right click or something like that on somewhere and everything and it's just more difficult it's easier just to do this and then have an extra click right there and then we'll just connect and it should just connect right up mine's gonna look a lot different what you guys are believe me yours is gonna be like white and crap um, I'm gonna show you a couple things to <clears throat> even my interface is gonna look different but I'll show you how to make it look kinda like mine real quick um, basically what it's gonna what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go right here guys right here over here to view and you wanna see all these that are checked make sure all those same ones are checked on yours and, and <clears throat> I don't remember uh, tree you want it on tree graph and you don't wanna go full screen but uh, that's it'll show all this over here. If you guys are wondering, this basically just shows all the everything that's con on there. And anything you guys want to know, like any settings or anything like that, go over here. If you want to learn how to register your nickname and all that, you go over here to the Ryzen Wiki. It will show. It will tell you everything. And if and if you guys want a really quick reference of it, just print out the pages on it. It's super simple, easy. And this is Patrick from Anime Tech signing out because that's the end of the video because that's everything you guys need to know about just connecting to IRC. The next video we'll probably be doing 
um, how to register your nickname, maybe again, I don't know. But this should be all you know, probably uh, how to set up a hex chat actually. So here we go. See you guys.